Here's a quick look at UVC sanitation. It is so cool. Good to see you. I thought I was done with this series. Turns out I'm not. We have one more episode for you on UV radiation. Okay, first off, I'm Jonathan Allers. This is Destructive Creativity. You know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to. Let's go. This is the fourth part of a three-part series on UV radiation. We covered what the three different types were, UV A, B, and C, and then also that fourth one, UV vacuum. We don't talk about that. Then we went into how the UV radiation affects your skin in sunburns. Then last week, we looked at how sunscreen protects you from those damaging UV radiation waves. This week, we're gonna look at human ingenuity. All throughout human history, humans have found something potentially dangerous and have crafted it into their own personal use. Think about splitting the atom into the hydrogen bomb or gunpowder or fire or concrete or rocks, I don't know, everything. The power of the sun is no different. So UVC radiation gets blocked out by the ozone layer and our atmosphere 100% because it's really dangerous. If it didn't, all life on Earth would essentially be extinct. It would kill everything. So knowing that there's a type of electromagnetic wave that kills everything, some very intelligent people have said, I know, let's create some high-powered UVC rays that kill everything. Okay, why would you want this? Okay, a bit of background here. So UVC is higher energy than UVB, and UVB is higher energy than UVA. Now, Corresponding to this, UVA penetrates farther into materials than UVB, and UVB penetrates farther into materials than UVC. But with the higher energy of UVB and UVC, they're much more damaging to DNA, so you get the picture. Here's where UVC is uniquely situated to help us out as humans. So we as humans and mammals, we lose a lot of cells. So the upper layers of your skin are dead. So when UVB or UVA hits it, it actually penetrates through those dead skin cells and damage the DNA underneath. But UVC is different. UVC will kill everything like instantaneously, but it can't penetrate hardly at all. So if you have a thin strip of cloth in between you and uh, UVC, it can't get through there. It can't get through even dead skin. Say you had like an open wound and you flashed UVC light on it, it would kill everything that it touched, but as soon as it killed your skin cells, or whatever cells were at the surface of your skin, that would be it. It can't penetrate any farther. So, when this guy goes through an airplane with high intensity UVC light, it will kill everything but only the surface. So viruses and bacteria don't have that layer of dead skin, and so the UVC light penetrates into their DNA and prevents it from reproducing. And a virus on its own can't hurt anybody. Essentially, it renders it moot. A moot point. I think that's a thing, right? Yeah. So the popular keyword of the day right now is something called far UVC light. So far UVC is something that is on the farther end of the UV spectrum, so it's closer to UV vacuum light. Far UVC light is what is considered by the scientific community to be the safest out there currently. This has given rise to doorways, as you can see here, that are just essentially far UVC light surrounding an entry portal. So when you walk into it, the UVC light shines all around you and kills all of the things that are on your skin, all the pathogens, all the bacteria, all of the viruses. Okay, let's take a look at that. Yeah, UVC light does kill all viruses and bacteria and pathogens, etc., etc., but trusting in that to prevent the spread of viruses is just kind of stupid because if someone already has it, then they still have it inside them because the UVC light didn't actually penetrate into their body. If they don't have it, it doesn't actually protect them from other people that do have it because, again, as soon as they're through that light, if they breathe out the pathogen, then it can still infect other people. So it's a good idea, but it's not a cure-all. Stay safe, have fun, for destructive creativity, I'm Jonathan Allers. See you next time! <laughs>